Welcome back ladies and gentlemen on the series strategy game and we are returning to let's play series of command playing the United States Navy in battle against the People's Liberation's Army Navy of China. We've just sunk probably one or two ships up over here you can see still one of them is around. I'm not sure whether the Zhu Lin is still actually um, combat ready. She's uh, going to only two knots. It's been a couple of seconds till we've really seen her. I think we've just hit her with a Mark 48 torpedo. There's another Mark 48 torpedo that is currently traveling towards this frigate. And we've got our submarine down here. So things are looking okay up there. Uh, what I would like to do is pull these guys in, just check on them whether they're still afloat and everything. Uh, that's our UAV, sort of helicopter there. Uh, we've got this gentleman here who is currently trying to refuel. Uh, from this tanker, that's fine. Um, you're gonna try to get home then. These guys, that's just one airplane. You've just refueled, you've got 1000 mile radius, you can make it home, so that's great. Uh, let's get you to Singapore then. We've got these guys who are also returning from strike. You've got only 500 mile radius, uh, but you will be able to refuel from the tankers down here in this vicinity, so that should also be kind of okay. Right, we are bringing another uh, tanker up there. That's, that's good too, I suppose. And everything else should be fine too. Now, the slight issue I see is even if we can sink all of these ships, I'm pretty sure that there are some naval um, groups or some, sorry, some submarines. And that might be somewhere around over here. And I kind of don't want to be too close to them. Um, but I also think we should actually try to engage this guy over here. So, you know what? Can you actually engage them? That'd be fantastic. Yeah, perfect. Okay, you are shooting them. That's nice. I think they're pretty much under heavy damage. They're probably going to sink anyway. Um, so that is fantastic. Oh, look at them. They are already flooding there, so that's good too. Let's have these guys come uh, closer anyway. And what's your sensors? Yeah, you do have radars. That's just a laser designator. You've got primarily other other stuff so it's gonna be okay yeah you can see the shots traveling in there towards the enemy you can also see we've got quite a couple of sonar boys here uh, what i dislike is that a lot of them seem to be under the layer which is not great you know what um can we actually for a second here turn on your sonar okay you are hitting there that's good and I think soon these guys should be gone, so that is going to be nice. Right, we know that these guys here are still around. They are flooding, uh, but they haven't been dealt with completely. So what I'm going to do is... Ooh, okay. Let's not do it then. Uh, we've got a torpedo left. Uh, we're not going to use that for now. We're going to wait a second here until we can use it. Um, uh, until we can use the second one, because I'm not sure we're going to hit this guy here. And he might be capable enough of attacking us. So let's see about that. The audio here is slightly annoying, but I'm guessing that these guys are going to plot to a degree soon enough that we'll basically uh, kill them for us. Right, we've got a couple of uh, maritime patrol missions here that are around, uh, which is fine, but I'm guessing I want to pull pull this area here around our destroyers and, and our fleet basically a little bit larger so that we've got a larger anti-submarine group there. And I think that's, that's great. Okay, there we go. That ship has been sunk, so that's fantastic. We're going to hear a couple of splashing sounds, uh, but what that means is we can now go ahead and actually allocate at least one of these guys here um, to the anti-submarine warfare duty down there. So they're going to try to come down here and that should be pretty nice too. Right, look at that. These guys here are at least mission killed. I, th I suppose that is what this, uh, this thing means. Lots of contacts report. No, you're vanished. Okay. So we don't think you are there anymore, uh, which is good. Not sure why it doesn't show that on the other guys, but yeah, suppose it's okay. Right, um, everyone else down here should be fine. Now, one of the things that you guys mentioned is I should probably pull my tankers closer. And I think we can do that, but what I want to do then is bring the Global Hawk a little bit closer to this vicinity uh, to check out what's going on down here, be a little bit more aware. See, the thing is, our strike aircrafts are down here. We probably don't want to be over Vietnam itself, and we probably want to stay off the coast a little bit, but we'd be very much subject to any any attack from here, so I don't want to pull them too much too much closer to the Chinese bases. Um, I 
it's 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 an okay stopping point if we are coming in from Singapore, but we're very we're going to be hard pressed to defend them from over here unless we are getting some some combat air patrol up, um, and I don't think we have the enough planes for that really. Um, in terms of Super Hornets, we only have two Super Hornets right now. Yeah, I do not want to be uh, too aggressive there. Right, I think the torpedo here must have missed, has it? It's It has detonated. Why did it detonate there? Right, at any rate, um, we do need to fire another torpedo here. Let's go ahead, let's do that. Um, and I suppose what we can do is ask you guys to be full speed. Yeah, I don't think we need to be cruise speed. That's going to be all right. Um, but other than that, I'm going to then take my submarine um, and going to draw a little bit away from this guy. Because he's a little bit too aggressive there. Right. Global Hawk, you're doing fine. You guys down here, do you have any... No, you only have the torpedo. You don't have any missiles that we could be using against that guy there. Right, all you guys are doing fine. You definitely will need to refuel. Um, I suppose what I could do is ask careful sensors. You are already using a radar, that's fine. Um, for a second here, can I ask you to go low? Minimum altitude maybe? Medium? What's the cloud um, cloud cover here? Yeah, let's dive down here for a second. I just want to get an eye on these skunks here. I think they are civilian traffic, but um, I'm not entirely sure, so let's just uh, be careful there. Um, right, you know what, you guys here, um, you should also be assigned to a mission. And that is the anti-submarine warfare. Good. Go down there, let's check them out. What on earth? Okay, there's there's another malfunction on, on our... Uh, on our destroy them. So let's go as deep as possible here with the submarine because you need to be getting away from that ship there. Question is, are you still active? 13 minutes ago you were. So it, it seems at least someone starting over there. It seems at least like you haven't really done um, any radar active emissions in the last couple of moments, uh, which is intriguing. Right, uh, let's get up here, let's check on these skunks up there, see whether they are hostile. Um, you guys are coming down, are you? Yes, you are at 4,000 feet. I think you should have visual uh, identification with these guys here soon. You have the tankers, you've, you've, you are a single ship here, a uh, single aircraft. You know what, um, let's go to cruise speed please. Um, and let's also go to a low altitude, check on these two aircraft here, check what they are, um, and then that should be okay. And at this point here, we're going to go back to high altitude. Uh, so you can pre-program that, and I think that's fantastic. More um, more Cerner boys being laid down there, that's good to see. What I really dislike to see is that they've got a pretty good target lock here on us, it seems. We must be under the layer, though, at this point. I mean, we are diving aggressively here. Uh, what anti-submarine warfare weapons do you have? Typically, at least. 30mm? No, that's... Ah, uh, you've got a couple of torpedo tubes. The Ju-7. That's a high speed. Okay, what can we do to uh, help you out here? I don't think too much, actually. Uh, most of our air bases really don't have enough strike aircraft. We've got a couple of Tritons here. Now, what we could potentially do is take this airbase here. Because you've got harpoons. You've got four harpoons. You know what? Um, we're going to grab the aircraft here. We're going to unassign you. And um, we're going to come down here. Now, it's going to take a while. This is a range of 900 miles. And your like, cruise speed is what? It's going to take you three hours to come down here. You're not going to be able to help out the submarine at all. Like you're, this is this is a question of minutes here, not hours. But yeah, not much we can do. We had a helicopter in this group, but they're being reloaded. They're all on an anti-submarine warfare stand uh, footing. It's going to take another two hours there. So yeah, again, that's not going to really help us. 
Come on, you you guys must be so close to to these guys. You're just 20 miles from there. At this point, you should, I think, get some visual identification on them. Right, um, can you target them? Weapon is not on magazines. Yeah, you are reloading that, but it's going to take a while. Can we... I think there is a point where you can view how long it will take. Uh, but honestly, it just doesn't make too much sense to... Yeah, you're trying to load them, but... Guided weapon. Oh, are you all only loading guided weapon? Guided weapons. No, no, let's do have you reload at least one torpedo here. I've only got the tomahawks on all of your guide rails. No, that's stupid. Okay, that's very stupid. Can I... Can I ask you to reload uh, differently magazines? Because I need you to reload torpedoes, not just tomahawks. I didn't even know you could launch tomahawks from torpedo tubes. But apparently you can. Right, right click on it. No, it doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, that's that's annoying. Okay, so the only way how we could deal with that is by actually surfacing. Now, I don't think that's what we want to do here at all, but it just might need to be. And I think they have a target lock on us. It seems like they are trying to plot an intercept course there rather than just going to our last position. That's this, just some decoy. Yeah. Oh, so it's a dragged airborne tow decoy. Interesting. Didn't know they had that. Right, okay. You guys, I don't think you're seeing anything here, so I am going to tell you to just go back to normal altitude. Save some fuel, that should be okay. You guys are coming down here. You should be very, very close to this merchant and the, this guy. You guys are starting to refuel. That's all right, too. But yeah, we really need the aircraft here for Mokinawa. But that's that's going to be a three hour long journey there. Right, let's go a little bit faster here. I think our submarine might be in trouble. No, 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 we can actually. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go ahead. Do fire one. Not sure why you... Why on earth are you detonating? Do you have like... What is happening here? Right, okay, stop it, stop it. We need to check out what's going on here. So, we've got only four torpedoes left too. So, your launch altitude starts at minus 2,000 feet. You should well be able to launch. It's wire guided, it shouldn't break. Okay, let's try to run towards you. Have a better firing arc there. And let's launch this torpedo. I'm really not sure. Okay, so it is working now. We're going in the same direction here, so the angle should work out. The wire shouldn't break. If you're maneuvering to Wally, sometimes you can have the wire breaking. Why are you actually so high up? You're diving only below seven, uh, 700 feet now. I'm guessing that around 5 miles he's going to launch torpedoes at us. So we need to be mindful about this. By the way, do we have, you have... You're not using sonar, are you? No, you're not. Okay, that's fine. You can use yours. That's that's perfectly all right. Apparently, he hasn't spotted this torpedo. Why are you, you? We were mine seven hundred feet, and when we watched him, they must have gone up. I don't know why you do that. Ha! Huh, right, we don't know. We just don't know. 
Right, and uh, let's have you guys come up here, check on these two guys. I think they should be alright, but I don't know. Okay, so situation down here looks fine. Uh, you've clarified these guys, um, so let's have you back go back to high altitude. I think that's fine. Let's just get rid of that. And then you are coming home. Return to base. Yeah, you don't have the altitude yet. Uh, oh, sorry, the range yet to come home. But I think you will be... Yeah, you're fine. You're going to be fine there. Right, uh, let's also actually check on these guys over here. So, ASM, you guys... You're refueling at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, you are. This is 600 miles away. You are currently running at 230 knots. So, we should actually be able to check that, right? So, if we go... To this down here so you are currently loitering i suppose and no it doesn't actually tell you the mileage it just tells you how much it's per minute and i don't want to recalculate all of that because that's going to be too annoying yeah you might be might be able to come home now but uh, i'm not entirely sure so let's ignore that for a moment let's have you top up a little bit more there that should be okay right so you guys Still, the torpedo here has is is approaching, so this time it's looking a little bit better. Maybe we're just uh, maneuvering too much. A slight change in course there, not sure why. You're diving up now, so you're coming up from very deep below, actually. That's that's okay. But you're now trying to find an impact point here. Are you going to underpass him? You are, I think. No! Nice. Okay, very good. Very, very good effect there. So our... Uh, submarine here really has saved the day uh, let's do try to find the other enemy submarines I think there must have been somewhere around here really don't know where but somewhere over there must be another torpedo uh, another another submarine right you guys can I can I unassign you can I bring you back to base and have you reached the base most importantly so we need this number here to go over 600 Comfortably over 600, hopefully. Well, you are gaining speed here, but... With four aircraft and two runways, some of them are going to have to loiter there a little bit. No, you know what? Um, you're not going to do that. Okay, you are heading to the refuel point. Okay, that's, that's perfectly all right. Let's have your refuel. I think that's going to be okay. Right, um, you guys are traveling home that's fine how about you guys you're okay you are not okay yet why you are on a mission refueling Um, I would actually like you to be coming towards this guy here maybe you can refuel him earlier than that okay that's great and um, this guy up here you don't need to be coming here anymore um, but how about the global hawk? What's your what's your sensor setting? That's okay. Um, you guys can come a little bit closer here to the shoals. That's fine. We've got a private a commercial Boeing here just over flying us. It's it's not a good idea to be flying through a war zone just over an enemy ship. That just doesn't bode too well. Lots of ships down here, uh, which I'm not entirely sure about what they are about. Mm, let's actually go low altitude here. Let's make a pass over these guys. And then you can return home. Uh, no, sorry. Did not mean to do that. That's okay. Um, and this point here you can go back to high altitude. Good. Right, let's check them out. Um, I'm very much guessing they're all civilian. I'm not too sure about these guys here, why they're all running back towards these bases here while well, they might be coming towards the Vietnamese coast but I think they're kind of dodgy right you are coming home too yeah you've got uh, you've had a lot of fuel but you've basically been uh, sucked completely dry right ASAMS you're still not okay here are you I really think you should be you should be capable of making it home but if you aren't, 
And we need to be mindful that um, it's the normal range, but as they're approaching it, they're going to pass through some denser air as they're descending and so on. So maybe it's okay. I just want to keep enough fuel here in these tankers um, for so, sort of for any rainy day. Right, um, you guys, you're coming home. You're returning to bingo. Yeah, okay, that's that's okay. Uh, let's not um, be too aggressive there. But uh, maybe let's launch another one of you guys and come up here, check out these these ships and these aircraft, actually. What are you? What are you and why didn't we see you before? Let's see, Ryan, this is the UAB. Let's come up here. Let's have the Global Hawk uh, divert to this direction for a moment. This might very well be a commercial airliner, right? But at 480 knots, 480 sounds a lot like it might be... It might be something else. I mean, you know what, you guys, can you go to periscope depth? Maybe we're gonna give them an eye on them. You've got a weird, weird altitude setting. New surface contacts. 11 knots, could be, could be commercial, could be something else. Okay, the Dambus is here. You are running pretty low on fuel, but you're also very slow, so you are Refueling now, that's fantastic. Good, I like it. What about you, my friend? Why can't you ID them? They're just like six miles away from you. Well, we know they're civilians, so I think that's that's okay. Why right, do you know what? You guys do on the sign, return to base. Yeah, you've got 800 miles, more than 800 miles, probably, probably a thousand or so. What on earth is going on here? Ah, interesting. Okay, we do need to check them out. Might be a helicopter. It's very likely that that is that is a, a a friendly helicopter, for the lack of a better term, or or neutral one. Might be just commercial. And of course, you know, in real life, there would be a lot more traffic going on here. So, yeah, lots more ships. That's okay. We want to check that guy out here, though. What are you? Right. And what are you? I'm thinking it's a helicopter. I mean this... But 36,000 feet? No, it must be... Probably a commercial flight, but I don't know. So, due to that effect, uh, we are gonna grab the F-18s here. And let's do check them out. Um, we do want to use our sensors. This is odd. I don't think the Chinese would be operating this far away uh, from their bases, but yeah, see, there's an Airbus. Just a commercial aircraft. Nothing to worry about, but still, better to check it out than be, to be sorry. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to come up here, we're going to refuel from the tankers who are going to still be around in this area, um, and then we're going to keep on station, uh, at least with w this single aircraft. It's not going to do much for us, but it's going to do at least uh, some things. Right, by the way, how fast are you? Is it 470? You see, 480, that's such a typical cruise speed setting for um, for actually our larger aircraft. So it might just very well be a military aircraft. Have we got any contact report? No. You're not emitting anything. So that is odd. That is exceedingly odd. Surface contacts. I'm guessing they're just uh, skunks that we're seeing down here. Yeah, you're traveling home. You are traveling home. Uh, you are actually at a. No, you're going to be all right. Okay, there's another Boeing down here. Yeah, we we really haven't seen uh, all of these guys there, uh, because our air radar is so so bad. Yeah, some airborne early warning would really be godsend here, but we don't really have too much. Lots of ships down here, but again, they're not going to be Chinese. I think they're just commercial traffic uh, coming from the Straits of Malacca up here uh, towards Japan, China itself. This is a very busy shipping lane, obviously. Yeah, and... You know, again, in real life, there would be so much more. 20 knots, you're pretty fast. 
can still be commercial, of course, but it is pretty fast. All right, let's have you, have you come up here. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're part of this, right? Okay, you know what? Um, let's actually group all of you guys together here. That's okay. Yeah, and we should, like, what's a doctrine setting? Not tankers from tankers, that's okay. What I want you to do is return to base, fuel state. I want you to turn individually. Units leave group and return to base as they are reaching fuel state. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. I don't want to, the entire flight to return to base uh, once they're out of fuel because you can see this guy down here, uh, 186 group number nine, he's running low on fuel, uh, fuel so that's gonna be over. Uh, what are you doing? You should be coming home. Why didn't you come home in the first place? I think you were refueling from this guy, but it's okay. Right, there was an aircraft somewhere over here. We've lost track of them. It's okay, I think. He was very suspicious, but I'm not sure he was um, doing too badly. Right, you guys are fine. You're going to come up here. You're going to check out these ships and that one over there too. We've basically uh, pestered this island there with uh, harpoons and such, so... Not to worry there. That's actually go as fast as possible here. I'm very concerned about this because there's just like, you know, you might miss any second. Mm, you can be assigned to into submarine warfare stuff. Okay, now you've spotted a lot more traffic there. Let's just briefly check out these contacts here whether there's anything suspicious. 12 knots, 9. 20. You're slightly faster with your traveling way, so I'm not too concerned about you. Okay. Some helicopter. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Why are you not coming back towards us? Are you, in fact, the same? You are using your sensors here, yeah. I'm really intrigued about this guy here. What about the helicopter? Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go check them out, whether they can see anything. It's not a good idea to just travel over us like that. It is a bit suspicious. I mean, it's not on an attack pass here, but it is. I, I just dislike it. And um, what are you guys doing? Oh, you're the harm. Okay, fine, fantastic. Um, yeah, you know what? Um, let's uh, refuel from here. That's fine. We've probably landed a couple of people down here. Uh, we should actually check them out, whether they, we should set them on a different mission here. Right, so we've got the slammer. It's okay, but can we ready arm you with something else? We've got the JSAW. We could go for JSAW short range so that we've got four of them. Joint standoff weapon, 45 miles. Good accuracy here, but I think it's very slow. Yeah, 513 knots. Whereas you guys are probably similar. 570 is slightly better. Mm, you're just a recon version. We've got some dumb bombs here. GBUs. They're just free fall. No guided bombs, but still. Probably not the most important thing here. Everything else seems to be greyed out. Excuse me. Now the JSAW might be okay to also attack a land target, so... We could also go for some anti-air loadouts. It was just AMRAMs. I think it's okay. Let's go for one of these short-range versions here. 
gonna take six hours for you to be rearmed, but I think it's okay. Right, and then you guys are coming home safely. That's lovely. You guys are refueling. That's okay too. We've got this second refuel point up here. I'm not sure what you're doing. Are you trying to refuel, are you? Um, you know what? We're going to return you to base. Yeah, you are coming in from Singapore. You've got more than enough range to come home. I don't think we want to refuel you. That aircraft here, we have identified it as commercial, so that's fine too. Yeah, I think this is okay. So you know what? I think this is a good place to put in a cut. And next time, what we're going to do is um, we are going to see whether we can uh, maintain our presence here um, in light of all of these contacts that are here. But I think for now, we've uh, done fairly well for ourselves. So yeah, let's check that out and hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye. Right, guys. So I had actually already done the extra and uh, recorded a new episode, but honestly... The Chinese didn't really do anything that much against us, so we really haven't seen any uh, more contacts. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that there is probably not going to be another episode um, as we are going to accelerate through time here. As you can see, there are a couple of uh, contacts coming in every now and then, but they have been uh, pretty, pretty surely civilian aircraft all the time. I will probably not going to even identify them, but um, yeah, you can just see from the flight pass and so on. Uh, there's nothing dodgy about these guys. We really haven't seen any any other thing. So here is the end of the scenario. Let's uh, briefly look into the um, scoring here. Of course, we are scoring a major victory here, and that's interesting because we haven't really lost that many uh, units on our side. I think we went by without a single unit loss. We did, of course, expend a lot of material here. So this has been a pretty pretty expensive day here for the uh, US Navy. But other than that, we really didn't lose that much, whereas they lost uh, 9 aircraft, 12, 12 fixed wing aircraft, 1 helicopter, 2 more helicopters. They did lose quite, quite a couple of things and uh, yeah, well that's 5 ships, so definitely big loss on their side. Uh, by the way, we know that they have used that and you know, just before we end the uh, scenario here, I just want to briefly talk about what we learned from this and I think what was interesting is that we did see the attack here uh, fail on our side so by this point the Chinese really do have enough power to stop at least small or mid-sized um, air attacks against their fleets uh, their anti-air capabilities not too bad really I did uh, underestimate them coming in here and honestly on our side we only encountered a single submarine and that was already pretty scary um, which probably would have um, yeah, posed some problems in real life. Uh, that being said, there are a little bit of a weird uh, loadouts on, on some of these ships, uh, but it would be interesting to conclude that uh, with uh, a trial on a more modern setting and maybe a little bit more larger scale. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you around for another episode. Do let me know uh, what your thoughts are on what I should be trying next. So, that being said, bye-bye guys.